The final day of the EU summit began where the first day ended, focused on Brexit. After toasting British Prime Minister Theresa May for her commitment to Brexit, Friday was a moment when the 27 other EU leaders agreed to move on to the second phase of Brexit talks and the future relationship between the UK and the European Union. It's a full confidence anyway. She's a wonderful person and she's doing very well, representing toughly the interests of uh, Great Britain. So I think it's a, it's a useful conversation and the negotiation is going well. But first, over the morning's working breakfast, a slight diversion from Brexit on a point of contention about European economic reform. French President Emmanuel Macron has long held plans to transform the Eurozone. He didn't get it here, but Paris and Berlin will push for agreement come March. What we want to do with the Eurozone and even beyond the EU is see what policies we want to launch together and where we want to get to within 10 years. This is the question we need to figure out and this is the discussion to sort out by March. But back to Brexit and in the afternoon leaders gave the go-ahead to efforts to address Britain's future relationship with the bloc. As expected, negotiations will only start in earnest sometime in March next year. With this being called the more complicated part of talks, it needed time. It is now time to get more clarity on the vision. I trust that the unity of, on, on the EU side will continue. In its draft guidelines, the EU acknowledged Theresa May's desire to quit the EU single market and customs union. But on that point, Ireland raised concerns. From an Irish point of view, we'd like it to look uh, as much like the current relationship as possible. Um, but that wouldn't necessarily be the view of everyone. Despite a domestic Brexit wobble for UK Prime Minister Theresa May on the eve of this final EU summit for 2017, the two days provided little surprise and one stark feature was the unity in the face of divorce. Not only was an important step taken forward on Brexit but so too on security and defence. But what the next year brings, especially on Brexit, well, we'll have to wait and see. Mariam Zaidi, CDHCN, Brussels.